Medulla oblongata is one of the three regions that makes up the brain stem. It is the most inferior of the three and it is continuous with the pons and below with the spinal cord. The medulla houses the, ex the essential ascending and descending nerve tracts as well as the brainstem nuclei. There are several structures visible on the anterior surface of the medulla, namely the three fissures or sulci, which includes the pyramids, the olives and the cranial nerves, which are the five cranial nerves. The posterior surface has a midline structure, the posterior median sulcus. As we move lateral from the midline, the fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus are seen separated by the posterior intermediate sulcus. Three levels of the medulla are typically discussed. Level of decussation of the pyramids, the level of decussation of the medial menisci, level of the olives. Now the medulla itself is typically divided into two regions, the open and the closed medulla. The distinction is made up of or whether the CSF containing cavities are surrounded by the medulla. Closed medulla or not the open medulla. The medulla becomes open when the central canal opens into the fourth ventricle. Throughout the medulla, the anterior spinal artery supplies a region beginning at the central canal and fans out to encompass the pyramids. Below the level of the olives, the posterior half of the medulla is supplied by the posterior spinal arteries. No other regions are supplied by the vessel. The remaining portions are supplied by the posterior inferior cerebellar and the vertebral arteries. Watch detailed lectures on scaria.com anatomy course. That's two minutes. See you in the next video.